if you you've been watching my live streams, you know, any of my recent live, any of my recent, you know, Jasmine update, I've been very bearish on Jasmine. Very, very, very bearish on that. And I have in a hundred percent reason to be bearish on Jasmine in the short term. You know, you look at the performance of Jasmine. Is it going up? Absolutely not. Is it going down? Absolutely yes. So I do have a reason to be bearish on Jasmine. And if you watch any of these updates, you know, I talked about exactly a certain target that Jasmine is going to have to get above in order for the bulls to be in control again. I talked about that specific target. And I also talked about exactly what Jasmine is going to have to do in order for me to be bullish on Jasmine in the short term. Long term, I'm more bullish than any of you guys. Right? Long term, I'm more bullish than any of you when it comes to this project. But in the short term, as long as the price of Jasmine is below this, you know, certain target, as long as Jasmine continues to go down, there is absolutely no reason for me to be bullish on Jasmine. Now, after yesterday's price action, something is starting to look very interesting on the lower time frame. Right, we're not back yet. All right, there's nothing that says we we down with the downtrend. You know, nothing that says that the lows are in. We do have some very interesting stuff that are happening, and that is what I want to talk about. But I just want to make sure that you guys don't think I'm flip flopping. All right, this is technical analysis. All right, the data has changed since we did the you know the last live stream. That was 24 hours ago. We have a lot of more data now from the last 24 hours. So I need to give you an update. This is not flip flopping. Yesterday, I was bearish on Jasmine. Today, I'm still bearish on Jasmine. But we do have something that's interesting. That's interesting on the lower time. So the question is, what exactly am I talking about? Right, what has changed in the last 24 hours? What is starting to look interesting? That is what I want to. Do. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at the four hour time frame, all right, for the very first time, we have a higher low. Right, this is a higher low right here, guys. This is a higher low, all right. This low right here is higher than this previous low. This is what we call a higher low in technical analysis. We haven't had a higher low since the beginning of this entire downtrend. Since the beginning of this move right here, guys, this entire move right here, we have not had a higher low, All right? So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about right here, All right? After Jasmine, all right, top towel. You know, sometimes in early June, we had a low right here. We had a lower low, another lower low right here, another lower low right here, another lower low right here. But for the first time, after getting rejected, we got a pullback. And instead of putting in a lower low, for the first time, we ended up putting in a higher low. So this is what's interesting. This is what's interesting, right? It doesn't mean that the bulls are back in control. You know, it doesn't mean the Jasmine is once again bullish in the short term. You know, it's just interesting, and it could potentially kick off a brand new uptrend. Right? So, right now, I think the best way to describe what I'm seeing in the chart is, you know, interesting. And the reason it's interesting is because this. All right, could potentially roll over and come all the way back to, you know, take out these lows and continue the bigger downtrend. 
right? So that is why I think the best way to describe, you know, these higher low, you know, it's just interesting. There's, there's no more to it, all right? The Bulls are not back in control in, you know, in the short term. You know, we just have something that we have not seen since, you know, since hitting this high right here of 44, all right? So, let me show you exactly what Jasmine is going to have to do in order for this downtrend to be reversed, right? In order for us to reverse this downtrend, let me show you what Jasmine is going to have to do. And in order for the Bulls to be fully back in control, Jasmine is going to have to break above this 30A resistance. As long as we're below this 30A resistance, guys, I don't think we're going anywhere. All right. I do not think we are going to have a sustainable rally. All right. I'm talking about a rally that is very sustainable for a very long period of time. And if we don't break above 38, I don't think we see any of that. But if we can break above 38 and stay above 38, then I think we are going to have a sustainable rally that is going to last for a very long time. And that could potentially push the price of Jasmine to some of those bigger targets that we've talked about. Five cents, seven cents, eight cents, 10 cents, 15 cents. All right. In order for us to get to those targets, we need to break above 38. All right. Very simple, guys. This resistance right here. All right. But in order for Jasmine to look, Bullish in the short term. Again, we are going to have to reverse this trend right here. So we need to break above this local high right here. If we can break above this high right here, you know, that gives us for the very first time since the beginning of this move right here. Whoops. The beginning of this move right here. All right. That gives us a higher high. Something that we have not seen. All right. And if we do get a pullback, we must not lose these lows right here, guys. If we do get a pullback, we must not take out this higher low right here. So that is what we need to see in the short term in order for me to be bullish on jazz once again. That is not negotiable. If, if we don't see that, you know, I remain bearish on Jasmine. If we don't see that, I remain bearish on Jasmine in the short term. So, again, if you look at the title of this live stream, if you look at the title of, you know, this video, we have something that is interesting. This is very interesting right now, right? The Bulls are not back in control. Jasmine is not bullish in the short term. We just have something that we need to keep our eyes on. Now, some of you guys may be looking at this, all right, and may be thinking that, wait a minute, all right, it actually looks like, you know, Jasmine is back, and it looks like the bulls are once again in control of this market. Let me just show you, you know, a couple of stuff right here, guys. You know, if you put a trend line right here, if you go from this top, and you connect this top right here, and you continue to go all the way down, all right, the price of Jasmine, you know, still below this long-term downtrend. All right, also, and you know, if we bring some key moving average, all right, let me show you a couple of things. You still have your short-term moving average below your long-term moving average. You know, this is not a bullish indication right here. And also, you know, if you get rid of these two EMAs and you simply bring, all right, this, uh, Bollinger Band, you know, yes, we are back in a bullish territory on the four hour time frame, but we must break above, you know, the previous high, right? And if we also bring another indicator, right, super, super trend right here, guys, we do have a buy signal, all right, from 32, uh, from 32. I almost say 32 cents. This is not 32 cents. It is three cents, but you know the uh, the number after that is two, five, 
three. So I'm, I'm just going with the first two digits. Uh, we do have a buy signal because, you know, we broke above 32. But if this was to roll over and take out 28, you know, that gives you a bearish jazz move, or that gives you a bearish signal, you know, once again. But anyways, so if we break above, you know, this resistance right here, uh, the super trend becomes even more bullish. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, right now, this is not something to be bullish about because this could potentially end up, you know, just like this right here. See how we got a bullish confirmation right here when we broke above 37 and then we got rejected and then we came back all the way down. And when we took out 33, we got a sell signal and Jasmine ended up dumping. That can also play out if we do come back down and take out these lows right here. So this is not something, all right, this is not something, you know, to, you know, to have you believe that this is the beginning of, you know, an incredible, you know, an incredible move. This is, this is nothing right now, guys. This right here alone, it doesn't really accomplish. So just wanted to show you guys, you know, what I was looking at. Just wanted to show you guys, you know, some of the new data that we have. That something has definitely changed, you know, in the last 24 hours. But we are still in an overall downtrend. If you look at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is now looking at this move. You know, the bigger picture is looking at this entire box right here guys we are still consistently going down we are not consistently going up and we don't have higher highs and higher lows this is a bearish market so hopefully that kind of explains what's going on with jasmine